Uh, so this story is absolutely my favorite one of the podcast because it's completely bizarre. Okay. It's the most bizarre thing I've like ever seen. It makes no sense. So basically what happens is I'm a big fan of classical guitar. And there's a player, Marcin Dila, who, if you heard him, he is top-level player, plays incredibly musically, he's technically gifted, and he's fantastic. He's one of those people where it's uh, normally his YouTube channel has something like, you know, 100-something likes and maybe one or two dislikes, or maybe there was uh, some, you know, arrangement. I think it was an over, somewhere over the rainbow arrangement where people, you know, people maybe, maybe, maybe stumble upon maybe, that. Maybe a couple more dislikes. And I go to his channel... You know, because I subscribe to his channel. And I noticed that one of his videos has like maybe 200 likes, 300 likes, and 150 dislikes. Which is completely out of, out of, out of you know, out of the normal for, for his channel. You usually don't get that big of a split. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, unless... That unless that percentage ratio. Unless he did something to upset somebody or, or a large group of people... There's no reason why you would have that many dislikes. So I go to another one of his video. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, like 150 dislikes. Go to another video. I'm like, oh, okay, this is kind of weird. Now this one only has one or two dislikes. Go to another video. Has like 150 to 200 dislikes. So that number keeps popping up for some reason. Yeah, pretty much. Somewhere somewhere in that. Uh, so I end up just Googling YouTube troll dislikes. Trying to figure out what's happening. Okay. Uh, I find basically an article that says... People can buy dislikes in the same way that they can buy... Subs <laughs> I like your face right now. That say in the same way that they can buy subscribers or likes or Instagram likes or basically any social media, you, you can buy those. And I, and I was aware that you could buy subscribers. I mean, we all see channels with that where... We Facebook actually thought a friend of ours was guilty of that. Just suddenly a huge spike in likes. Huge, huge spike um, in likes. Which, by the way, hurts your, your Facebook feed because all of a sudden you have people that aren't real your posts go out to those people and obviously and then nobody's and then, clicking, and then nobody's on, clicking it. on it so yeah. yeah that's not not a good idea um at all so the only thing i can think of is someone is buying dislikes on uh marcin Dila's channel so obviously there would be a reason to i'm sure there's plenty of reasons to dislike somebody's channel um you don't like their playing, they're a jerk, you're a jerk. Um, but my question would be, as somebody who's never heard of this guy prior to this, and obviously it is a niche kind of interest, yes. yeah, absolutely. Um, what would be the reason for making such a big dislike thing on his channel? And, and that's what makes it so incredibly just bizarre. I mean, this is not, yeah. it's not a company. It's not like it's a negative review. It's not like somebody, you know, I, I said, oh, uh, the rolling quad capture, it's it's awful and this and that. Hey, and it's then, not like I need to stop the latest Adele single and I'm going to buy dislikes to do it. Yeah. It's it's just a guy. It's just it's just a guy. You know, a, a mod, guy who's a, very good at what he does. Very good at what he does. Um, and a, a, a channel that has, I think he's got like 2,000 subscribers, which yeah. is like... Hey, all right, he's doing it. You know, I mean, it, one of the few classical guitarists that I think can just tour and, and, and make a living out of it. Um, Very impressive. Now, one thing I want to point out is, I'm sure some people are saying, why would you buy dislikes? Right. And I ended up finding a website that, that sells subscriptions uh, or subscriber, YouTube subscribers and uh, Facebook likes and all those sort of things. And uh, this is now this is according to the website, and it's written quite a little strange so if I, I stumble while reading this I apologize uh, the first reason they give is to make it um, when you buy YouTube likes or you buy uh, Facebook likes well I guess not Facebook likes but YouTube likes if you buy 50,000 likes and then have zero likes well that looks weird so all of a sudden you you know you need to buy like a thousand you mean dislikes. Zero dislikes. You, yeah, yeah yeah and have zero dislikes sorry yeah um, you need to all of a sudden make it look natural like it's actually like happening. it's actually happening and, and you really have these sort of subscribers so, so to make it look natural and then it says for competition purposes so competition if you have and this is directly from their website if you have a competitor a competitor or an enemy who you completely dislike you can buy youtube dislikes and in this way influence his reputation 
kind of interesting that it says his and not his or her or their. Well, well, obviously women are not allowed to yeah. post things on the internet. Yes, apparently. <laughs> um, <laughs> so this way is very useful for people who are involved in in the strong competition, especially concerning companies. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, someone will think that it's stupid, but you may understand that there is no demand there would be that if that if there was no demand, there would be no offer. We had too many questions about this aspect, and finally, we have a reasonable offer to solve your problem. So basically, they're saying people are saying, "Hey, man, can I buy dislikes?" And they're like, "Oh, yeah, I guess that's a that's a thing." And obviously, these probably these just people clicking like a different button. The other thing is, if, if you notice, um, I'm I'm surprised that YouTube can't figure these out because these are basically, uh, and you can look this up. It's it's um, a lot of places in Asia that will just have like an office building. And what you could do is you go and, up. Oh, uh, this needs dislike, so I need to hit dislike, dislike, dislike. Um, so all of a sudden, these channels will get, like, a spike of, like, 150 a day. Yeah. Um, not even have that many views on that video for the day. Somehow there's... Well, because if you if you go into a YouTube video, I don't know, it's 10 seconds or whatever whatever the amount of time is. register a view. Someone could tell me in the comments how long to register a view. But it'll be, like, 150 dislikes, and it'll be one giant spike, and it'll all be from one country. So I know one uh, website was a you know some guy had a bad product review and then was talking about someone buying dislikes. So it was 150 dislikes from Vietnam. I'm kind of confused on how YouTube can figure out that, you know, like oh look 150 dislikes all from Vietnam in one day and it what didn't even count as a view. How they can't just automatically just clean that up. I don't know. I you're... mean, YouTube already struggles with the the copyright thing, pu- putting up copyrighted content, and also um, launching YouTube Red now. Well, that's true. Um, so I'm sure they're plenty busy already. It seems like something real easy to fix, though. Like you just write the program. It's like when I get sunglass feeds in my <laughs> Facebook, where it's like well, you you can't just make it where if it says the word sunglasses and someone tags 48 people, that that just doesn't go anywhere. Like it. I mean, they yeah. do all this stuff with the algorithms. So I, I think YouTube needs to solve this. It, it, I don't see why you should be able to to buy dislikes. Uh, to um, be fair, I don't see why you should be able to buy likes either. Well, yeah, there should be a way to just kind Fi- of yeah, figure figure it out. And um, so the real question is, who is doing this to Marcin Dila's channel? The real question is, if you did this to our podcast, would that make us more popular? Uh, probably not, because I'm pretty sure it affects the feed. Oh. Now, if you want to do it to our podcast, if you want to spend like a hundred dollars and just put dislike on every single one of our things, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's it's weird. I, it's obviously not a, a, a competitive company, right? Obviously, no company saying, "Oh, you know, Marcin Deal is not." Uh... Well, actually, no. Now that I think about it, maybe theoretically had a, a sponsor. I I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to think. It's it's probably just some guy that. He has ru- some kind of beef. Beef. That he rubbed the wrong Maybe way. Maybe a shun student. <laughs> I'm going to just make scenarios for this guy in my head that's doing this, just because it makes no sense. Um, you know what's interesting is I feel if this guy were to hear this podcast, <laughs> we're going to end up being on his... Hundred- <laughs> we're going to be on his... Let me buy 150 dislikes. And maybe he could be a, a guest star. Good. And if you uh, could- like, comment, and subscribe, then, uh, you know... You don't know what could happen. All right, so I'm going to keep my eyes on this. I'm interested to see where this is going to play out. But yeah, um, check out his. We'll put a put a link to his playing so you can see what we're talking about. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it's it's if you like any kind of guitar or you like classical guitar, he's he's basically the best.